Hey guys, my name is Megan, and welcome to the Pottermore Harry Potter house sorting type thing. Now, I have done this quiz before, and I did a while, I did it a while back, and uh, I ended up being, uh, I think I, it was Gryffindor, I remember, and basically, because of how long it's been since I did that, I wanted to uh, redo the quiz, but uh, for some reason I couldn't do it, because it is a thing where you can redo the test. Uh, the only thing is, though, is that I personally don't know how to do it. I know for a fact that I have redone it uh, a couple of times on my old account, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I left for a while, but basically I wasn't able to redo it. I had to make an entirely new account, and uh, here it is. So I'm going to try and see if my Hogwarts house has changed. So, uh, let's get started. So, the first question, forest or river? Now, in my experience, forests, or at least every forest that I've ever been, generally has some sort of water type thing, and rivers are generally surrounded by trees. But if I had to pick one, just assuming that there's no water in the forest, I'd probably, or no river at least in the forest, then I'd probably go with the forest because they're nicer, they're more fun to be in, there's a lot more wildlife, and if I do need water, then I can just get some from the plants nearby. So, forest. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, mer people, ooh, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls. Now, when I was younger, uh, probably. Uh, grade two, three ish, so probably, uh, from when I was like eight until like 10, 11 ish, I went through this huge phase of absolutely adoring vampires and werewolves, which it was around the time that Twilight came out, so that, I, that, that was probably part of the reason why I was on that bandwagon, but I was literally so fucking obsessed that I came up with like this second life and like this boyfriend and this house and like the pets I'd have. Like, which furniture I'd have, elaborately which job I'd have. Like, literally all my neighbor's houses, the fucking, like, restaurant that me and my fake boyfriend would always eat at. And I just went way too into it, so. Uh, there's that cringe, and I'm never going back. So let's go with most people, they're very interesting. A muggle confronts you and says that they are sure you are a witch or wizard. Do you ask what makes them think so? Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a drink. Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. Tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. I mean, I personally, I always, uh, I'm generally a neutral individual, so instead of being like, yeah, I am, what do you want to do about her, being completely in denial, I just like to go the very neutral route. So if I had somebody like come up to me like, oh, you're fucking evil wizard or witch, mate. And, you're, and I'd be like, well, uh, what makes you think that? What have I done to prove that? What? But in that in that way, and generally, when you confront them in that way, it makes people stop, step back for a minute, calm down, think about it, explain to you their thinking, and uh, if they're right or wrong, then they'll probably be more. Uh, calm with whatever answer, and they'll probably be able to accept it better. So I'm going to ask them what makes them so. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The violin, the trumpet, the piano, or the drum? Uh, oh, I personally, I play the drums. Here's a little tidbit about Meg. Uh, I never actually, well, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, when I was younger, I tried playing the drums, and... I actually did really, really good, because there was a couple of guys, and they were, like, playing guitar, there was one guy on the piano, and we were, like, rocking out, I can't even remember what it was, I think, but I know it was, like, a rock and roll song, and if I can hear other people playing near me, then I just kind of sort of adapt to whatever it is they're playing, and I can generally go really freaking good, but, um, I haven't had proper lessons, like, my school, um, they let you, they, they let you pick an instrument that you wanted to do. And I was always in percussion, uh, but I never actually got to use the drums. I always had to be the xylophone for some stupid reason. But, um, 
So I, I ended up learning about learning percussion in a different way. I know there's like things where it's like uh, there's beats and like right, right, left, right. Honestly, I just I'm a better learner by ear. So if I can hear someone playing like the guitar, the bass, and I can hear enough of the music for and I can just listen for a minute, then I, I can just catch right on and I, I think I've probably been able to play for like a half hour because I'm I'm just very good at playing by ear. So the drum. Uh which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, ignorant, cowardly, or selfish? Hmm. I mean, in my opinion, uh this may come across as arrogant, but honestly, I don't mean it in that way, but honestly, I personally think of myself as See, I, I used to always go around and be like, hi, I'm Megan, I'm weird, blah, 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 introductory. But I feel like it's not really, I don't consider myself normal, and I don't consider myself abnormal. It used to be something that I used to worry about so much, but honestly now, it's more so, when I think of who I am, whether I'm ordinary or unordinary or whatever, honestly, the first thing that I always think about is, I'm true to myself. And to me, that is what matters more than any of that. So, uh, for that, I I wouldn't mind being called ordinary. I just feel like it wouldn't fit me. For ignorant, I always feel like I try and get as much of a knowledge of something before I go into it and I try and do it or anything like that. So, uh, I feel like I, I would hate having that. Uh, I or Not hate, but like... It would be something that would kind of be just unsettling, cowardly. I, I always feel like I stand up for people, and I stand up for what's right, even if it makes people turn against me, even if literally everyone that I know and love hates me. So long as I'm standing up for what's right and I'm helping people, then I really don't care. And selfish. I feel like that would probably hurt the most, because I feel like I always give all of myself to everyone around me as much as possible. If you were attending Hogwarts, which cat would you choose to take with you? A tabby cat, a Siamese cat, a ginger cat, a black cat, a white cat, a tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl, smelly owl, barn owl, common toad, natter jack toad, dragon toad, harlequin toad, three toad, tree toad, that is too much. I personally think I'd bring a black cat. Just because I've always, I mean, I've had a lot of cats in, through my life, but I've never actually had a black cat, and I don't know why that's so significant to me, but, like, uh, and, like, I, I, I absolutely adore cats that have, like, any type of, uh, cool pattern or something like that, and, honestly, the first thing that I generally think about is, like, the personality of an animal, but, I don't know, I've always just wanted, like, a, a one solid color cat, so, like, a full black cat and a full white cat, so, I'd have to go with a black cat. Uh, which of the following do you find the most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, or being ignored? Alright, hunger, I'm pretty good with. Cold, I'm always cold, so I feel like I've kind of gotten a better idea of learning how to deal with that. Loneliness, I have separation anxiety and just anxiety in general. So whenever I feel like no one cares or there's... Like, if, I, if I'm near people, but I feel like no one is willing to listen to me or be near me or actually care, then I start to feel isolated and alone and just, I start to get very, very anxious, and then I start getting separation anxiety, and then that will lead into an anxiety attack, and honestly, I just, I cannot stand it. So, just knowing that someone is near me, is great, but I always, I always just need to know that there was someone, whether they're in my general vicinity or nearby, that I can turn to. So loneliness would be the worst. Heads or tails? Heads, always heads. Why can't I close that? All right. Why can I get it? I'm Hufflepuff. All right. I honestly figured I'd probably be Hufflepuff. Um. As I told you last time, I was Gryffindor, and uh, I guess I'll do the wand quiz next time. Bye, guys!